Hello, welcome to a new game called Puzzle Agent from Telltale Games, done back in 2010. I think I need to pause though just to see all the choices in that. Um, it's a game apparently inspired by Twin Peaks and Stanley Kubrick, and it's a bit creepy, like the Stephen King, Dean Coons, Coons novel. Does the FBI have a puzzle research? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they do actually. I'm sure there's an FBI that just work on breaking codes or something. Yeah, that's the FBI for you. Falling asleep. I'm guessing this is a Stanley Kubrick uh, reference, 2001. Astronomer's Night New Moon. Nelson Tether's crossword puzzle has been ripped to bits, but is there something written on it? Reconstruct it to find out. Okay, we can do this. Um, well, I guess that's in the corner there, and that'd be up there somewhere. Oh, it joins together. Okay, makes it easier. Um, shoes. Oh, that would go in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. There you go. That was a bit of a guess. That really looks like it's... Oh, that should go there. Not you. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go. No, just... Oh, there we go. Sk sk Scoggins. What the hell Scoggins? I spend that much taste up. What? Perfect angel. Uh, puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's it's just it's been yes, quite some time. Uh huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Scoggins? There's a place called Scoggins? <laughs> There's a place called Scoggins. Ah, look at that. Uh, a moon in the background. Cue the James Bond theme. My name is Bond. James Bond. No. Tethers. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Population 754. Temperature, hmm, it's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ- inci thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. Hopefully this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tether's out. 
Tethers. Agent Tethers. I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. That's some crazy cyborgs you got going there, mate. Excuse me. I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yep. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Bjorn? Your relation to Boy, Bjorn? Those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Do you say anything else other than yep? Yup. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Nelson's snowmobile is sliding along the roads. Arrange the logs to help Nelson bump his way to the hotel. Make sure to pass the traffic lights beyond mentioned along the way. Okay. Uh, drag logs from the menu onto the game grid. A log can be dragged to any free space. Nelson's snowmobile will start off heading south. When it hits a log, it will bank right or left depending on the log's orientation. Nelson must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Press submit when you think you have the logs correctly. Okay. Um, so it's going to go there. We need to go up there. Just so need to go there. And it's going to go there. Do we need to use every log? Didn't say that we did. If I get this wrong, sorry guys. <laughs> Must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh, I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. I'm here. Do you Ass. know anything about it? No. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sneaking around. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Asks lots of questions. Wears a stupid hat. What a smart ass. Thanks for the tip. Yep. I'm coming back to the rest of you, buddy. Don't give me attitude. Alright, uh... Bed the fence. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. What would chew a fence? Uh, anything else to do here? Huh. Strange elf collection. What's that? What's, what's that do? Huh? I have hello. no idea what that is. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? Hello, Ma. I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh yeah, you're here about the eraser factory, eh? 
we're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. A hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. Hot dish. So, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay, I've got your room right here. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Aw, oh, seriously? Why? Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. I don't know. The security money night clerk notated Nelson's room number. Encrypt form. Help Martha see what keys... What's written so you can get your keys. Okay. It's nine. I can see that straight away. How could you not see that? Like, no one is that dumb, surely. Well, puzzles seem pretty easy. I'm sure they'd have to get harder. There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh, dear. Our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... We like to double-check things. Oh, of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. Oh, yeah. You know, our Scoggins Erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. Uh... Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe hmm. you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. <laughs> you should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Uh. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Why is everyone puzzled mad here? Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Nelson tethers sinks best when he's chewing gum, any kind of gum. Find discard gum and use it to get a hint during a sticky puzzle. Oh, surely I wouldn't eat discarded gum. What are you, what are you just suggesting to children? Seriously, Delta? Uh, I better talk Excuse to me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Bo has followed a rubber band again. Okay. His x-ray shows only tapeworms, or does it? Rotate segments of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. So we're looking for a rubber band. Oh my god. Uh, 
I assume it's in the middle here somewhere. a rubber band now. That looks right. That looks right. But why do I have a two-headed worm here? Uh, I don't know. I'll see. Maybe you can relax a little. Probably only Indeed. just had to find a rubber band. It's an acrostical enigma. Maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers? Or not. Whispers? Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. Are you sure? A puzzle. Hmm. Winner undeclared in local contest. The animal... Uh, Annabelle... Oh, whatever. Grill Ladies Arm Wrestling Tournament is over and the judge missed it. Read the four statements and help him determine the winner. Uh, Pat won fair and square. Outmashed by the Grizzly Group. A pin pal like a new hat. Foes Grizzly Group couldn't whip me. Okay, so uh, there has to be three contests, two contests at the same time, and then a, a standoff. She beat someone else, which means she would have beaten her, so this one would have to be the winner. Yep, okay. That was pretty tricky. That was a tricky one. Mm, what can I do now? What would it do? To... What's the point of that? What's the point of all that? Got any more puzzles you need help with? Puzzles. No new puzzles yet. Brain's always thinking, thinking about puzzles. I'll just check in on you later. Alright, bit of a crazy plot. Goodbye. Cheers nice stop and take. Oh, there's a puzzle here. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative though. 
A ceramic gnome has disappeared from the hotel display, but which gnome? Identify the gnome in Martha's photo negative that doesn't appear in the display. Technically, it has to be one up top, doesn't it? Uh, it's reversed. The colours are reversed too. So if there was two green here, they would appear red, meaning one of these green ones are not the correct one. Reds appear green, so we got three greens. Okay, so the greens should be appearing red, and they do. So it's one of the greens. Okay. One of the reds that look. Like it should be green. Okay. Okay, so if we're looking at the reds which are now green, um this means they would be flipped and that would be that one. So that's correct. This one is flipped again. So that's that one. So this is the old one out. There's nothing matching that. Okay. Submit that one. One of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> okay, anything else to do in here? No. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that? No. <laughs> Not in front of that weak guy. Uh, can I talk to him again? No, can't talk to him. Can't do anything else here. I don't trust that guy. Alright, so the factory. Jesus, a lot of places are visible. Scoggins erasers. Hi, Sheriff Bob. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Nelson Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in our right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. All right. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. 
What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh yeah, a big explosion. Well, the close by. just never came close home. Close by raccoons. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. The rest easy guard service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight. Midnight to midnight, okay. So 24 hours. Yesterday, from their statements, can you determine the time of the big noise? Boom, one hour before last shift started. Okay. Uh, only Bernie put in the full eight hours. Okay, so Bernie can't be... Bernie can't be... The boom happened on the third shift. Bernie could not have done the eight hours on the third shift. I get the shortest shift three hours. Worked from six till I was relieved. Worked from six till I was relieved. So someone took over from you. I'm guessing the shortest shift was the person taking over. an explosion somebody would take over from you wouldn't they okay so if someone took over from him and he had the three hour shift and it went from midnight to midnight you would go back to nine and it happened one hour before that which means it would have to be eight I don't know. sorry if I get it wrong guys If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Yep. Good point. Maybe they grew back. Can't go about that quickly. Can I? No. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? Nope, he's just gone. Isaac Dabner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. <laughs> so it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. Okay. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. Me get the moose here in a bit. Interesting. Out at the eraser factory. The doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom-built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged, though. 
it seems to be missing a piece. Nothing else or anything? No. Uh. Guessing we're going here. Oh, it looks like that. That's cool. Got a friendly guy. Hello. <laughs> oh, chewing out. Puzzles around here. Gotta to talk to him. Go in the door. Okay. Excuse me. I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. Something wrong with your sign? Uh, I said, is there something wrong with you? A cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not a cop. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark. If you know what I mean. I don't actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not with all the whispers in my head. What? Whispers? Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. That's the second person that mentioned whispers. Uh, the repairman has forgotten which fuse he needs to use, even though he coded them so he wouldn't forget. So let the fuse that completes the sequence. Okay. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, okay. Uh, one. So they have bases, is that it? No. Nope. Oh I see. One, two, and that's four, so that won't be three. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whatever. That should do it. Hey, what do you know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. Little what? Well, I gotta finish getting this sign mounted. See you later. Talking about the king. We'll see. I don't suppose you know anything about the eraser factory accident? Don't suppose I do. Uh -huh. Did you know Isaac Davner? Not much. Heard he had some kind of accident. Feel bad for his wife, Glory. Such a pretty girl. I should really talk to her. Do you know where I can find her? Yes, I do. So, where <laughs> can I find her? Inside. Why is everyone so weird? <laughs> Goodbye. note i think i'll leave it there guys uh join me next time as we continue on with this raccoon explosion story see you then bye